Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is March 1st and it's a Monday. February also started on a Monday and for some reason I just really enjoy that because it just feels like new week, new month. I'm currently uploading last month's fitness vlog. It was a pretty short one. It's about like six or seven minutes, which is pretty short. I try to make my videos like at least eight to ten minutes long. This piece of hair didn't make it in my braid, so... We're just gonna ignore that. I'm going to be focusing on diet this month because I feel like I need to be eating more in order to gain the strength that I wanna gain. So we are gonna be doing a mini bulk. I have no idea how much I'm eating right now, but I just know I need to be eating more. I don't usually include a lot of food in these fitness uploads because I do a lot of like what I eat in a day is what I eat in a week. So that's where you guys can see more food related stuff. But I am gonna include some food in this vlog because we need to make some gains and for gains you need food and calories so i think we're gonna do a costco shop either tomorrow or the day after because we need to stock up on a few things and then i actually ordered some pre-made meals for next week they're gonna be getting here on sunday i think i got six meals so that will be easy for next week guys okay we're just about to go to costco and i thought i would get some footage while we're there um i'm gonna have to do a whole foods run as well to get all the groceries that i want but we need to do a costco restock Here's everything we picked up. If you've watched any of my Costco hauls in the past, we do pick up similar things each time. So this might be repeat items if you've watched one, but I thought I'd just go over it in this video. For meat, we always get ground turkey, chicken breasts. These are organic. There's actually quite a few organic options at Costco. Um, these breasts are huge. And then Colby also gets the ground beef. I don't really eat red meat as much, but We've got some Annie's. We always like to be stocked up on this just for like a quick meal. A lot of times for lunch on the weekends, we'll do Annie's if we're lazy. But there's a lot of ways you can actually spruce these up and just add in different things. We've also got bananas. These are also organic, although I don't really think that matters. Organic apples, a bag of spinach, some French beans. This is a little flat of black beans. This is the coffee we usually get. There's actually another one that I really like there as well, but this one was on sale. I usually pick up some sort of chocolate treat. This time I went with the dark chocolate almond butter cups. I almost bought these at Whole Foods the other day, but it's so insane, the price difference. I think it was a pack of like two or four. I wanna say it was like six or eight dollars. And this whole pack was 11 and there's a ton in here. It doesn't say how many, but there's a lot. So a way better deal. And then we've got some Greek yogurt, organic eggs, another tub of coconut oil. I've been going through this pretty fast because I always put it in our morning coffee. Um, sweet potatoes, cottage cheese, almond butter, peanut butter. I don't have these very often. This is colby's go-to and then we're back on the oat milk we were buying macadamia for a while it's really good but there is quite a few additives in it and i love the Susie's oat milk because it's literally just oats and water that's the only ingredients in there so that is a good one and then we've got egg whites chocolate chips some nuts frozen berries onions and this is the bread we've been getting recently i used to get gluten free but honestly i don't notice a difference when i eat gluten or not so this one is a multi-grain sourdough and we've really been liking it so i'm gonna throw two of those in the freezer and then we always keep one out and last but not least a bag of rice Today 
today's Sunday and my tractor order just got dropped off. This is where I ordered my meal prep from. Um, so I think there's six meals in here. This is my first time ordering their like prepped meals. So I'm gonna unbox this and see what we have. So they automatically have, I don't know if they like switch it up every week, but they have like a preset meal or like menu for the week. You can customize it. I didn't, but I did add these chocolate pistachio cookies because they're so good. So that is the first thing. We also have this Southwest quinoa and green salad. We've also got some turkey chili. This is Indian style roasted cauliflower. A little container of rice. This is two tandoori chicken breasts. They are quite small though, I will say that. These are some chicken enchiladas. So yeah, that's really gonna help me for this next week because I have not been feeling like cooking lately, if I'm gonna be honest, so I'm very glad I got this. Hello, you guys. I wanted to do a little bit of a check-in. Today is March 11th and it's a Thursday. I just got to the gym right now, but I actually have not worked out since last Friday. I did do one deep stretch class at my yoga studio on Sunday night and that felt so good. Besides that, I have not been working out. I just feel like this is an important thing to include because determination and consistency is very important for progress and just for your health in general. But I think it can be even more important to recognize when your body needs a break. And that's just how I was feeling this past week. I'm not feeling 100% today, so I might take it easy at the gym, but I just feel like I want to get back into things. I don't regret taking the time off. I think it is what I needed, but I'm just excited to get back into routine again. So we'll see how today goes. But yeah, if you feel like you need a break, take a break. It's better for your body that way. I took about a week off and we're trying to get back at it now. I also just got a whoop. I feel like this is very popular in the CrossFit community. Let me know if any of you guys have one. And also I think you can like create groups, but let me know if any of you guys have one. And if you can create a group, like should we create a group? But yeah, it tracks your sleep, your activity, your recovery. I was mainly interested in tracking sleep because I feel like my sleep hasn't been the best lately, but I'm going to use this to track my activity today. It lets you know like how hard you push yourself. I'm gonna go work out, check in with you guys later. Good morning, you guys. Today is March 16th and I'm just heading to the gym right now. I think I filmed an update recently. I can't remember what I covered, but maybe I already touched on this, but for the past week or two, I've been feeling so tired and I just feel like my body is not recovering well. And I can't figure out why because I'm sleeping well, I'm eating well, and it just doesn't make sense to me. So today's an upper body day. It's not going to be as strenuous. Okay, hi, sorry, I just wanted to park first. I'm gonna do an upper body today, so it should be less strenuous. I'm trying not to push myself too hard, which sucks because I want to be pushing myself, but I feel like I just don't have the energy for it. Depending on how busy the gym is, I might film my upper body sesh today, but it's gonna be like somewhat chill. But yeah, that's just kind of where we're at. I just don't wanna be pushing myself harder than I should, and I know I need to prioritize just like taking care of myself versus fitness gains, but it's just annoying. Anyways. That's my update, so I'm gonna go in and train now. I'm in my supplements cupboard right now, and there's one supplement that I'm going to start taking again, and it is Ortho Adapt by AOR. It's just a blend of vitamins and herbs, herbs. I always say herbs and people get mad, but yeah, it's just a blend and it helps with stress or like helps your body deal with stress. One of the main things in here is adrenal gland cortex. There's also vitamin C, vitamin B5, licorice extract, Siberian ginseng, rhodiola, withania, ashwagandha. The one thing I don't like about this is the serving size is four capsules. So if I'm taking other supplements, it ends up just being a lot of pills to swallow. <laughs> Thank you. 
we're back with another check-in. I feel like we just have a bunch of random check-ins, but oh, Tika thinks something's up. You want to say hi? Hello. Tika's saying, don't forget to subscribe. Where's your ball? Did you go find it? Okay, but it is now March 22nd, so we're into the last week of this month. I'm gonna put a screenshot up on the screen to show you guys like how my recovery has been for the past week. As you can see, my recovery is definitely trending up. Tuesday, my recovery was in the red. Saturday, I had my first green recovery. So basically, if you have recovery over 66%, you're in the green, which is ideal. I've definitely been feeling better, and I feel like I have more energy now to push myself more in the gym. So I'm hoping that this last week can be a productive week. And I just wanted to quickly mention the things that I've been implementing that I think have been helping. But yeah, I've been taking the Ortho Adapt. I've been taking magnesium at night. Before I was just doing one cap, which is 200 milligrams, I think. Is it milligrams? Um, but now I take two, so it's 400 mg's. And then I also just got a new supplement called GABA. It can help with a lot of different things if you guys want to look into GABA, but it just helps you feel relaxed. So that's another one that I'm trying. I've been doing my Epsom salt baths every once in a while. Also obviously focusing on nutrition. I haven't like switched anything up, but just making sure I'm eating good, uh, drinking enough water and sleep. Honestly, I don't really have an issue with sleep. I pretty much get eight hours every night, but I do wake up a lot during the night. So that's kind of why I take supplements and I stick to a pretty good like or a pretty consistent bedtime and wake up time. I guess it's called sleep hygiene that has been getting a bit better. So that's kind of what I've been doing. And it is Monday today. It is a lower body day. So hopefully we'll have a good workout today and maybe I'll bring you guys along. I'll try to get some footage of that and put it into the vlog. <laughs> Today's Monday, March 29th, and I thought I would wrap up this vlog. I'm just gonna sit down for a sec. So this month didn't really go to plan. Um, I feel like I was focusing more on recovery versus gains, <laughs> but that's kind of just how life goes. You never really know how things are gonna go. I will say though, this is my recovery for this week. It has improved a lot and I'm feeling a lot better. So I feel like I'm ready to actually push myself in the gym now. So hopefully moving forward from here, that can be my my goal. So maybe that will be the focus on the next fitness vlog. Comparing now versus the beginning of the month, um, I do feel a little bit stronger with certain exercises. <clears throat> Sorry, I just woke up. So my voice is like still not fully there. But I have made some progress with certain exercises, just being able to move heavier weights but i still um especially for like my lower body i really need to push myself there because i've still mainly been doing dumbbells and preloaded bars um i have been using the squat rack a little bit but i need to figure out how to like set up my phone there to get footage but i think i do want to start focusing on like heavier weights so using the squat rack more i'm gonna quickly take my glute measurements just to check i kind of doubt i made those gains this month but let's check okay you know what i can't remember if i was sitting at 38 i feel like i was sitting at 38 now my glute hip measurement is 38 and a half 38 and three quarters actually i think i have notes i also just took a couple pictures so i'll do a side by side to see if there's any difference from beginning of the month but in january my hips were 37 February they were 37 and a half March they were 38 and now they're or beginning of March they were 38 and now they're 38 and a half 38 and three quarters so I can't believe I actually gained another half inch so that is the March fitness video I hope you guys enjoyed be sure to give it a thumbs up if you want more of these if you want to see anything in particular leave a comment down below and I will see you guys next Monday